Welcome back everybody, I am Shade of Dead, and this is Homeworld Remastered. Um, we just got done, or I got done here a little while ago, doing Homeworld Deserts of Karak, which is actually the prequel to Homeworld and Homeworld 2, um, which came out uh, like 15 and 13 years, I don't know, a long time ago, over a decade ago, both of them. And so... We kind of like that story, so we're going to continue with the story. Now, uh, real quick, a couple of things about this game. Okay. Uh, in Homeworld Remastered, there is an issue insofar as how the game can be recorded. It uses an old version of DirectX 9, it uses 9B instead of 9C, which is makes all the difference. It makes it hard to record, so I have to put it in a windowed mode, which for some reason, they when they made this game, they did not put in the option or make it possible in any way, at least so far that I have found. I did a lot of looking to put it in a borderless mode, which means that I have a border around it. Not that you should see it on your screen, but I can see it and it also means that a little bit of the bottom of the screen is down below the bottom of my monitor which is not getting rendered which is then not being recorded so there's gonna be a little bit cut off the bottom here I don't know if you can tell how much but there's there's some gone from down there alright you'll really be able to see it in the levels so keep that in mind, there's going to be a little bit missing, but there really isn't any other way to do this effectively. Um, it's a real pain to get this game to record. Like I said, it's a really old game. They were able to update it to DirectX 9B, but they didn't make it 9C, which is what I need to do. Easy recording, but we are going to get it done. Now... Uh, we're going to start at the beginning. I don't know if you remember in uh, just a little background story, in case you didn't watch Deserts of Karak. Um, on this planet right here, Karak, uh, it is a desert planet, and a device, an anomaly, was discovered out in the middle of this desert somewhere. Uh, it had never been detected before, but uh, a satellite picked it up. This world was kind of on uh, about where we are on Earth as far as getting um, into space. You know, they can put up satellites and things. They discovered this anomaly and they decided one of these clans, and there were several different clans on the planet, decided they were going to go there. The Sujet, Sujet clan. Now, uh, they took a long expedition out there fraught with many perils they were their country uh, you know was under attack while they were on the way uh, it involved betrayal it involved um, religious fanatic freaks who wanted to stop them because they said that you know traveling into space would spell would, would burn this planet in fire and all this other crazy religious junk right so, they tried to stop us, they couldn't stop us, we whooped their butt, and we found this anomaly. And it, well, I'll let you see. Uh, it explains a little bit more here in the video. So, here we go. Beginning Homeworld, remastered, I reset all this. I had it all completed, but I reset all this. That doesn't mean I remember how to do all of it, but... I have done it <laughs> in the past. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, nice little loading screen. Yeah, go from point to point. We get this thing. I don't know what all this is. It's all nice, though. One thing that's different about this one that is from the original Homeworld Classic is that you can't choose which race you want to be. 100 years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. An expedition was sent. That looks familiar, doesn't it, guys? Oh, there's Karen over there on the right. 
cruising in, Karen. Sajet. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Rachel, Rachel Sajet. Sorry, I knew I was gonna do that too. <laughs> Rachel Sajet. There's the parts of the city that were buried underneath this ship. Beside and underneath the ship. I guess beside, it wasn't really under it. As if they built a city around the ship. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara. Our home. Mm -hmm. There's more. Don't worry. They just had to split up the videos back then because they were so big. They were like... 50 megs. That was a lot. The clans then. were united, and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. So, 40 years after they found it, the clans were united. They started construction on a colony ship. And it took 60 years to complete. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, anyway, who had herself Karen. permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. Instead of Rachel. That's Karen. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. There it is, Every mind up in the sky became up there. focused on the true origin of our people. Every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. Only want to go home. That's what we want to do. Scaffold control standing by. All stations green. You're clear to approach. You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. Decks D and E secure. Scaffold secure. All systems green. Release crew standing by. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting mothership relaunch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control standby for alignment. Confirmed. Stand by release control. All caliper banks released. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Command line testing. Command line green. Initial fleet in position. Of course deleted. Oh, 
Okay. I think the first thing I need to do <laughs> is see if I can turn uh, the sound of the music down. I already have it at five. It's just... Gosh, it's loud. Uh, maybe it's just in the in the videos or the cutscenes. There's Tarak. going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. <laughs> Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Okay, and this is kind of a tutorial level. Ease, we will get our stuff by. together. Oh, we're getting a cutscene again. Ugh. Stand by to begin <laughs> combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. Okay. So, we have all these objectives that we have to do. Construct a research ship, uh, harvest asteroids, and then uh, do combat trials. Confirmed. So, we are going to go Collection harvest confirmed. these rocks up here. We Ready. are going to take our fighters here. And these these are cool. Copy. We can zoom in on them. This is an interceptor. You know, it's got like double barrel Gatling gun cannons things on them. They're all really cool. The hard Roger. resource collector. You, know, you can watch it come up here and it's going to start eating on this. And I want you to look at the scale of this mothership. mothership. Okay, this... This makes like a Star Destroyer from Star Wars small. A Star Destroyer is probably half this size. The Star Trek Enterprise is probably not even that. It's probably more like a third or a quarter of the size of this thing. Um, you know, human beings are on this and there's probably like 8,000 floors. I don't know, something ridiculous like that. And this is just massive. This is a huge ship. Um, amazingly Standing huge. By. And here's the first point where it kind of becomes obvious that we don't have the entire screen on here. I'm sure you Local guys can't see all complete. this. Moving These on. are all of our different formations. Strike group confirmed. So they're in Delta. They were actually in Delta. And I'm going to put them back in Delta again, I guess. Um, Delta formation. Uh, the next one is the broad formation. They just form a line. Uh, you have the... Oh, what did I do? What What's going on? Confirmed. There we go. Alright. New formation. X formation. They, they form a little X. Um, claw formation. formation where it's like that. Um, you have the wall New formation, formation acknowledged. where they form just a two-dimensional wall and you have the New sphere formation, formation where they will form a sphere and you can Stand get by. more and more and more um, ships involved in that particular thing. So we're going to send them out here and you know and we're going to go here. Strike group coordinates. There's Karak off in the distance. You know, we'll use Confirmed. a sphere for me. Eh, we'll we'll go to we'll go to a claw for me. Ready. We'll go to a claw formation. This New is gonna be a pain. Me clicking off of it because I can't see all of it. We're gonna get out here and we should. Oh, there they are. Okay, we got some target drones here that we need to destroy. Strike group to battle positions. So I'm gonna send them to work. And they're gonna split up, and they're gonna go to, go to town on these things and start destroying them. I don't really know what the point is of the formations because they don't stay in the formations beyond maybe first contact. So if you put them in a claw formation, they will stay in that claw formation as they approach. And if you tell them to attack like one ship, which is probably never going to really be the case, they'll stay in that formation, make their first pass in that formation, everybody firing on the target, and then. That's Split. All. Ready for orders. Like they just did, and then reform back into their form, their claw formation. Uh, this isn't a very good one. Uh, formation trial complete. So. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next They're trial saying, will use test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. 
Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Roger. Um, I also need to build a research ship, so I suppose we should get on that. Um, we need a research Construction ship. Underway. We're going to want a salvage Assembly corvette underway. or two. Assembly underway. And it wouldn't hurt for us to underway. have about five underway. Assembly scouts. underway. Reporting. Alright, so we're going to head over here, do this Strike one. Strike group coordinates locked in. We have some research we need to do, so... We need to get that research ship done. And see, we're, we're constructing two things at once. Copy. It's kind of nice. And we're supposed to change our Show tactics. No we're going to go into six. aggressive Strike mode. To battle position. This is supposed Pursuing to make targets. them do more damage. And I believe in the original homeworld it did. It made them slower, but it made them put out more damage. Um, whereas if you put them like in passive, or it wasn't passive. It was like, I don't remember. They, these were different uh, in, than in this one. I don't know that it actually makes a difference if you put them in anything other than aggressive means if they see an enemy they will attack. Defensive means if an enemy attacks New them or anyone available. near them, Research ship they will attack. And this one means they're Primary not going to ever attack unless I tell them to. We got a research ship coming out. Begin it's a little lab here. Immediately. And you can build more than one. And they will connect with each other in like this circular pattern, which looks pretty cool when it's done. Enemy Completely unnecessary to Scout build complete. more than one. So we're going to do our research on our fighter chassis. Scout complete. Okay, because these guys are actually Roger. fighters. These are interceptors. Ready. Oh no, those are scouts. Okay. So I guess we have Tactics plenty of scouts. So complete. Probably shouldn't have built the scouts. I thought those were the interceptors. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Yeah, I told Build you one, a salvage corvette. And capture the target drone here. Mm -hmm. Acknowledged. We got a salvage corvette. Um, you guys Copy. go ahead and Docking go back there and dock. I have too many Reporting. scouts, actually. I probably should retire them. I'm going to retire All right. those That's five. It. Retirement confirmed. They're going to go back and turn themselves back into resources. For me? Standing by. And I'm going to send one of my salvage corvettes out to Destination here. locked in. Okay, salvage corvette. Look at this Docking little guy. Signal green. He's got like his little ship. I don't think he has any guns on him whatsoever. He's got these little, I don't know, grabber thingies on the front. Magnetic grabber things. I don't know, a couple engines. Pretty cool design. I just love these ships. I love like the little details in them. Um, they really stand out in this one as opposed to Homeworld Classic. But even in Homeworld Classic, my imagination took over and I could just... Like oh I get what that's that's the part for this and that looks like a hatch research and, complete. and yada New yada yada and that must be where the pilots sit. New research available. I'm just crazy like that though. All right, so we've got to capture this thing. So we just click on it. He's gonna Copy. fly up here and he's gonna grab it. And this is a very important method to increase the size of your fleet. You can capture enemy ships. So having the ability to uh, you know having the ability to increase the size of your ships by stealing the enemies is important in this one. It's kind of important in Homeworld 2. It was fairly important at least in my experience in Homeworld Desert to Karak, I probably could have used Ready. it more than I did. Collection confirmed. There's, There's nothing left nothing out here. Nothing out confirmed. here to salvage. Okay, so we're done salvaging. But there it is. Uh, you know, it's important in this one, and we will be using salvage corvettes a lot more than we will in Homeworld. Stand two. by for a hyperdrive test. Internal pressure doors will be sealed in two right minutes. Back on out. The board you. system is standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. Okay. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Now, good luck, this everyone. one, it all forces you to hyperspace, in, to and then it collects all the resources the for you. Drive at your discretion. You don't really have a choice, and there is no button. Or no, this one doesn't. I thought it did. Sometimes it does, I think. But um, that's the end of this one. And we are going to go test the hyperdrive, and we will see you in mission two uh, when we do our hyper 
drive test. I'm going to go ahead and hit hyperspace. Stand down. We're on hold. Everybody's going to dock up here, and we can... I'm just going to hit quit dock. That just makes everybody dock really fast, and then blam! And I will see you guys all next mission. Laters!